Algebra Word Problems number 4a, combining like terms and word problems. A term is a number, letter or letters, or number and letters combined by multiplication or division or both. Here we've got a standalone number of 9, an x, which is a variable, two variables, which means to multiply them, 8xy, which is 8 times x times y, and we've got 3x, which is 3 times x, divided by y. These are all terms. And terms that have the same variables with the same exponents are called like or similar terms. So this term 3a has a like term of 2a. If we added them together, we'd have 5a. This term 4xy has a like term of 15xy. These are like terms. If we added them, we'd have 19xy. a and a are like terms. And together, we'd have 2a if we added them. 5x cubed y squared and 8x cubed y squared are like terms. They have the same numerical coefficient and the same exponents with the same variables. See? If we added them together, we'd have 13x cubed y squared. See? 4ab is a like term with ab. Because there's an invisible 1 in front of here, if we added them together, we'd have 5ab. See? So we can combine these like terms by combining the numerical coefficients by the operation given. We just need to remember our rules of positive and negative numbers and the order of operations so that we do it correctly. Here we've got a problem that says a shirt costs x dollars. A pair of pants costs 2x dollars. Write an expression for the total cost of four shirts and three pairs of pants and simplify the expression. All right, well, let's look at the beginning again. A shirt costs x dollars. And it said there's four of them. So if a shirt costs x dollars, we'd have four shirts that would cost 4x. It says that a pair of pants costs 2x, but there's three of them. So a pair of pants costs 2x, so three pairs of pants would be 3 times 2x. Our expression would be, or equation would be, 4x plus 3 times 2x. Well, 3 times 2x is 6x, and if we had 4x and 6x, we'd have 10x. So not all algebraic equations have an actual answer. Sometimes the answer contains a variable, like this one. This shows that no matter what the actual price is of the shirt and pants, the cost would be 10 times that price. See? So it could be various answers, but that's OK. Look at this beautiful garden we've got here. See the green grass around the flowers? So it's a garden, and then they put a brand new sidewalk around it, OK? So a sidewalk of uniform width is constructed around a rectangular garden. Write an expression for the length and width of the newly formed rectangle. So the first thing I did was I drew a picture so I can get a graphic image of what's going on. So I drew the garden. I went a little overboard maybe, but uh, I like to color. So I saw that this was the original length and this was the original width. So if they put a sidewalk around it, there was going to be a new length and a new width. The length was going to have a little extra piece here and a little extra piece here, and the width was going to have a little extra piece here and a little extra piece here. So the old length was L and the old width was W. The new length has an X on each side. See? An X here and an X here. So it's L plus 2X. The new width also has an X on each side, one here and one up here. So it's W plus 2X. So now we end up with the length is L plus 2X and the width is W plus 2x. Now remember, we're not doing perimeter. We're just doing length and width. When we just do length and width, there's only one measure. So even though there's an x on this side and this side, we don't count them, OK? We just count the one side, one length and one width, OK? We use the, the x from here and the x from here, but we don't use the length x's down here. See how there's also ones down there? We don't use those. We only need one length, and that's a length of two x's. And even though this width has an x here and an x here, there's also an x here for this width and this one, we don't count those. We just need one width. So it's this width and that end and that end. So it's w and two x's, see? All right, so hopefully this is going to help you with combining like terms and word problems. and. Because this is video 4A, you know what that means. I'm going to do a 4B and make uh, another video showing more examples. Okay, so for those that need the help, there's going to be more examples. I'll see you there. Bye.